Well, I was working on the truck a little bit today. Uh, well, I worked on it some yesterday. I, I got the gas tank stripped down and etch primed it and then I painted the front and these returns here and uh, the bottom of the gas tank. The gas tank shot. It's got some holes in the thing so I'll, I'll probably just run a little tank and I got a little six volt fuel pump until I can find a tank for the thing. And I uh, found a coil bracket on an old 235 Chevy out back I had and and I'd worked on a guy's DeSoto, changed it over to 12 volts, so I found a 6 volt coil for the thing. And uh, I got the dash painted on the thing, and I had a little on off key switch for the thing because, and in one of my old videos, I had uh, went to a yard sale and laying there, and the stuff was a fuse block, or uh, not fuse block, but the electrical block on the Model A's, or just a junction point. And I'd found a, a harness, original harness, a new one. And uh, I had this other dash out of a 30 that my dad used to have hanging in his bedroom. Probably, God, must have been there all my whole life. I remember the thing when I was at least 10 years old. And it had a uh, amp gauge in the thing. So I took that amp gauge out and got that in there. And I'm going to uh, try to get the thing running today if I can, if the weather holds out. Well, I got the tank bolted on. And I got the uh, coal hooked up, whatever. Wiring. And this little thing here, it goes, uh, it goes on here like this. Well goes on there like that. It's got these little do lollies here that go on there. Tighten it down. Yeah, it's got two of those that go on there. And I gotta get that wire that runs from the plate up to the coil on there. I got one I bought for the Roadster. I may just go ahead and steal it for this, but uh, anyhow, got the dash in the thing and column. I gotta get the thing that goes on the bottom of it to bring it up there, but uh, what's she looking like? Well, I decided I was gonna steal some of the parts that I uh, I had bought for the the 29 Roadster because it runs, drives, and charges. It's just that the harness was something that somebody made up or whatever. What the other one, instead of making something up for it, I figured I'm just going to go ahead and steal this charger. This is the harness that goes from the uh, from the cutout switch on the generator, and then it also um, powers up the ignition on the thing goes to the starter so I'm gonna steal that and I'll order another one for it and then this is a little wire it, it, it's just real simple it just goes over it just powers up the coil it's kind of a weird setup on this thing how normally you would um, break the power to the coil actually the coil is powered up and then you break the wire that goes over to the points, which is kind of odd for that, but uh, anyhow, I'm going to steal these parts and put them on there before I crank it. Alright, this may be too dark in here anyhow, but anyhow, I took that um, wiring harness for the um, 29, it was a cutout harness, goes down there, so I got all that wired in. Well, I don't know how this is going to come in, because it kind of got dark run out of daylight. Anyhow, I got the cutout switch on the generator and I got that harness on there hooked into the starter and got all that stuff back in. So yeah, basically this is probably going to be kind of a, a boring video. And uh, stuff just took longer than I thought, I guess. But anyhow, 
Police got back on the truck a little bit, working on it. Well, I was going to go put a set of points in this thing, in a condenser, in the Model A, and open up a Pandora's box because they take to put the points in, you got to take this plate out, advance plate, and it's got a bolt on the bottom. And it holds the uh, wire, the ignition wire, and then this around the side hooks to the condenser, and it's got a strange thing. There's a piece that goes in there, it threads in there, comes off the key switch. I don't have that, so I guess I'm going to have to hook a wire on that. But anyhow, this looks like the old original wire, and I'm going to have to solder a new wire on. And then figure out how to get a wire to run up to the key switch. Either drill that, or solder it on with that. Well, it's fixing the storm here. I'm out here working at night time, and the mosquitoes on this thing. Had a bunch of stuff to do today and to get back on, but I figured I'd show you how you time this thing. There's a little thing right in front of the motor on the time of chain cover. You screw that thing out, and then you stick it in there backwards, and then you turn the motor. You can watch, and it's like a little indentation, and it'll get a rock. Well, I don't know if I can get it to do it or not, but anyhow. You hold your finger on the thing, and there's like a little notch there, and it goes down in that little notch, and that's top dead center. And then you loosen the screw in the top of the cam, the point cam, and you put this tool on. Well, anyhow, you rotate the cam around until she's on number one on the cap, which is right there. Take your rotor button off. Then you put that tool in there like that, and you tighten it down. Then you know you got your distributor on number one. And then of course, this is your manual advance on the thing. That, that's how it is. I mean, the distributor don't move at all. You just stick it in, and it only goes in. It goes in the oil pump one way. So that's all you got. And uh, that puts it up on top dead center. Then you use the cam, you know, the point cam right there that loosens up and you set it on. But uh, anyhow, I ain't getting a lot done on this thing. I may, I may go ahead and post this. I may go ahead and post this tonight. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I guess that's about it.